hello, hello, hello. It is time for live Q&A Wednesdays. Let me just uh, make sure. Oh, first, hello, replayers. You guys are the only ones that see this part. Um, I'm just going to double check to make sure we are live and that you can hear me. Players. Oh, yep, you can. All right, cool. So how is everybody today? I have a new toy. I don't know if you can tell the difference in the video, um, but I have a new toy. I have a webcam. Yay. Um, an HD one, no less. Ooh, fancy, fancy, fancy. Um, so I just want to um, just give everybody a shout out. Um, thank you for everybody who uh, does join in on these. Thank you to those that are active in the group. Um, I love that. I love the fact that you're engaged. I love the fact that you um, you show up for yourself, for the group. I love that. 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 Um, so I do not know um, who will show up. Um, I had a couple maybes, but I'm not sure um, who. And I just want to set up my iPad so I can see if there's any comments because you never know with new toys you never know what's going on um, so let me just get myself set up here so let me know what you think how is the lighting how is the sound because I'm using the mic through the camera and uh, uh, so just a uh, you know pop a uh, comment and below let me know what you think of the new setup the new camera the new lighting um, I'm noticing that this camera is pretty sensitive to light um, or not sensitive enough so I'm trying to find that happy medium I think we're good today um, I think but just let me know okay um, so today I wanted to talk about um, one of the parts of my new create method. Um, I have mentioned it um, in other videos just briefly, but I d I've been creating content. And one of the things that I created was I, and I'm using the word create a lot, wow, I guess that's what it's called. It's called the create method <laughs> of transformation. And it is literally, it's create. You choice, responsibility, ego, awareness, truth, and enlightenment. So these are the steps that I think are the um, the key points um, when you're trying to transform yourself into your best version um, or transforming your life. So I'm going to go. I'm going to talk about ego today. Uh, I know I talk a lot about responsibility. I talk a lot about the fact that you got to choose, um, but I wanted to talk more about um, ego because it kind of gets in the way. It really does. But here's the thing: Do you want to get rid of it? No. No. Ego is good. It's when it becomes overactive. That's where you have the problem. Uh, so there are um, a few things that I just want to point on, um, and I'll give you a little bit of a, a little bit of a story. This week I had an issue, and I I was triggered. Um, something had happened, com probably completely innocent. But it hit me in a way that kind of knocked me on my butt a little bit. Um, and if you are um, uh, on my, you know, on my personal profile, I did talk about this a little bit. And it's it goes back to Eckhart Tolle's The Pain Body. So a lot of times when we're growing up, we collect pain the best way to talk about it we collect pain we if somebody hurts us or if uh, something happens or whatever we kind of hold on to that and that's just our human way well what happens is the ego 
remembers everything that happens, remembers everybody who hurt or every instance where you were hurt, maybe not remember faces or whatever, but remembers every instance where you were hurt. And that can kind of rear its ugly head when you're least expecting it. And that's what happened to me this week. And it was weird. It was really weird because it was such a small thing, but it really affected me. I couldn't sleep. I, 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 I had to do like lots of like self-care just to calm myself down. I swear, I felt like I was gonna have a panic attack and I don't have anxiety issues to the, to the extent um, that some other people do. You know, I get nervous, I get fearful, but I always power through and that's just been my way. Well, just in the last month, not even a month, when I get triggered, it it creates that sensation where your heart starts to beat and, and, and you feel like you're vibrating on the inside and things just don't feel right and you can't go to bed. You feel like your blood pressure's through the roof. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, and that's the pain body's response to the ego of you know of past past stuff the ego one of the things the ego does is the ego wants to keep you safe it will do everything and anything it can to keep you safe and whether it's for your good or your highest good or not or neutral or whatever it has one purpose it's to keep you safe so it likes boxes, it likes comfort zones, it likes non-movement. Um, and if you've ever been in a non-movement situation or you know a stuck in the box situation, it's not good for us. It really isn't, but the ego interprets it as such. Um, so it will bring lots of things into your awareness. The biggest being fear. Okay. Now fear, I've mentioned it in other videos months ago, whatever. Fear can be broken down into false evidence appearing real. Fear does not exist. It is a construct of our own mind of the ego's making in order to keep us safe. Now, sometimes fear can be good, like, you know, well, you better stay away from the ledge of that building or you're going to fall off. You know, that, that's, that's the fear doing us a service. Um, fear coming in and saying, uh, you better not put yourself out there on video because people are going to make fun of you. Not the same thing. Totally not the same thing. The ego is always going to use fear to prevent itself from dying. And like something like this, like a video, <laughs> it's not going to kill you. Um, going to uh, a family function where you don't get along with somebody. Okay, that, that can be a fear issue. Well, that's not going to kill you either. But the, the, the ego will create the scenarios in your head so you feel like your life is going to end if you do something like that. Um, so we have to pay attention to how our body interprets the fear coming from our ego. I had to do very, I, just to get to bed, I had to send myself love. And the cool thing is, love will always, always combat fear. So that's the cool thing. That's the cool thing. We'll always combat fear. It'll beat it if you do it the right way. Now, some of the other ways ego gets in the way um, or when, when it's overactive. I do a lot of work with helping people move through residual shame and guilt. Those are very, 
useful tools to the ego's mind. Why would you feel shame? So you don't do something again, right? Why would you feel guilt? So you don't do something again. So if you think about it in the way the ego perceives it, we're gonna make you feel shame so you don't do this thing again so we don't die. We're gonna make you feel guilt so you never do that again so we can stay safe and not die. <laughs> this is how the ego works. Um, all of these things, not real, not real. Um, if you did something malicious and then all of a sudden you realize, oh, I feel really guilty because I did that malicious thing. Well, that's a, maybe a little bit different, but kudos for realizing that you wanted to change. Um, so that would be one of those things where ego helped you. It saw something and tried to correct it. And you may have felt shame, you may have felt guilt, but you had, you had the opportunity to correct that. That's when it can come in handy. But that doesn't happen very often. If you go through your day, you know, do this. A little practice. If you go through your day, say tomorrow, okay? Pay attention to everything. Everything you think, everything you say, everything you behave, or every way you behave, and see if there is a moment where you can catch your ego in action. Might be a tough little, tough little thing to do because sometimes, not sometimes, all the time, being aware and actively aware, that takes practice. It's something you have to continually do. It's not like all of a sudden you, you figured out and you found the awareness that, oh, my ego is doing this, and then you never think about it again. It's not how our brain works. It's a practice. And going through your day without any other intention than just noticing. Just watching what goes on and every minute of a day, how you react, how you think, how you, how you speak, how you behave. Non-judgmentally, I'm going to say that one more time, do not judge yourself. Do not. If you, if you wanted to do this awareness exercise and you go through your day and you automatically did a default reaction, that does not mean that you start feeling guilt, okay? If you do not judge yourself, you will not feel shame and guilt. I promise you this. I absolutely promise you this. If you do not judge yourself, you will not feel those feelings. So take that moment, like tomorrow or today or the rest of today or whatever, however you wanna do this, this is an awareness exercise. Just go through your day and see if you can notice when the ego kicks in. That is, and I'm talking about actually two steps of the CREATE method, ego and awareness. You have to be aware of the ego before you can find the truth, which is the T in the CREATE. You have to. because. Fear, shame, guilt, the future, the past, they don't exist. The only thing that exists is right now, in the now, okay? So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. When you start to worry, you're worrying about things that don't exist. You have no idea what tomorrow is going to bring, so why are you going to worry about it? It could turn out completely different. How many times in your life have you worried about something for no reason? 
and you worried and worried and worried and you were so nervous and nervous and nervous and you didn't want to do this and, and you fretted about it and you had anxiety and you were anxious and, and you were fearful that this thing that was going to happen in five days time was going to be this you didn't know what it was going to do so you created this whole scenario then you get to that that event in five days time and it's like the coolest thing that ever happened to you that's that's proof right there that you wasted all of that energy for nothing for nothing so just just think about that think about that if you ever had a moment I know we don't have any live viewers right now but if you ever had a moment when you worried about something that ended up being really cool or totally like nothing to be worried about you know type a Y in the comments and while you're at it hit the like and the love if any of this makes any sense to you and that if it, if, if you if, if it hit you somewhere and uh, it made you start thinking you know it's 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 pretty cool process once you start doing it on a daily basis. I'm telling you, it really is really cool. Um, now, one of the other things that the ego likes to bring in is his buddy doubt, and that typically tends to show its face. As self-doubt like you're afraid you're not gonna live up to somebody's expectation well guess what so what you don't have to live up to anybody's expectations you don't you know if you know maybe like if a situation is like the, the boss gave you a project and you don't want to like drag your heels and not do the project properly you know, but hopefully you value yourself enough to not sabotage yourself and do a good job. You know, you in that situation, you're not living up to the expectations of your boss because your boss could be expecting more than is reasonable or less because he doesn't care about anybody but himself. The only expectations that you need to live up to are yourselves. And if you live up to your expectations and don't, if you, if you try to live up to your expectations and don't meet them, well, do you think that would cause a reason for you to doubt yourself next time? No. Other things could have come into play. You have to be kind to yourself. You have to not judge yourself. Okay, so you had an off day. whoop de do. And that sounds kind of harsh, but you know, I think I personally think expectations are a disservice from ourselves and also from those around us. You know, because half the time they're not even reasonable. They're not even reasonable. You can. I mean, I'm trying to think of a, a, a story. All right, well, here's one. Okay. Okay, my wedding. My wedding was a complete DIY wedding. And this is like 18 years ago now. But it was a complete DIY wedding. And the pictures in my head were like these beautiful things. And, you know, and I had this. And I didn't have, I don't, I didn't have like these grand expectations. But I had certain expectations of myself to do the wedding a certain way. Well, <laughs> we get to the reception. And I got married a, a week before the reception so we had the reception and the big party a week later and like I said DIY I had all these beautiful pictures in my head of how it was gonna look and how is this and everything is gonna be wonderful and the reception happens and I am still running around in my dress not or in, in just my casual clothes still trying to figure out the table settings and everything like that. Guests are arriving and I'm like, okay. 
well, you know what? I did not live up to my expectations, but I put too many on me in the first place. I was the bride. Yeah, I was doing a DIY thing, but I, I just expected so much more from myself and I didn't meet them. But, you know, guests started arriving. I said, oh crap, you know, and I, I de delegated a little bit. There wasn't that much needed to be done. And I go into the, the, go into the room and I get my dress on. And, you know, we kick off the whole thing and we did the walk-in and, and, and it all turned out fine. And it was a beautiful reception. But I had put expectations upon myself that were not reasonable. And I started to judge myself. Like, how could I be so stupid? How, you know, why couldn't I have done this earlier? Why, why didn't this work out? Why did my cake not work? Um, you know, it was just like everything. Because I put too much expectation on myself. And I started having self-doubt. I did. I started having self-doubt. I'm like rushing to get my wedding dress on and I'm like in my head I'm beating myself up well, that's what does that do what does that do it does nothing it does nothing it doesn't serve you whatsoever and that is the ego sitting there saying you know what you try to do this you didn't, you didn't succeed, so now we're going to make sure that you never do this again by, putting, by giving you some self-doubt. That's what that was. It was an overactive ego. You know, it's, it's a journey, but when you start practicing things like being aware of when the ego gets triggered, you end up seeing patterns in your life. And these patterns, some of them we carry for decades, decades. And we don't even realize them because we're not paying attention to them. We're just on autopilot, reaction, 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 reaction. But when you start exercising, doing awareness exercises without judgment, you stop reacting and start responding. And then what happens is you start to be able to work with the ego instead of fighting against it and white knuckling your life because of fear or shame or guilt or doubt or something like that. You start to work with the ego and the ego starts, you start to be a team. Because there's a couple different things, you know, how your ego functions and what its purpose is are two different things. This, the way it is, that's, that's just the way it is. It's just the way, so work with it. Just work with it. And I, you know... I really, I'm, I tell you these things because of my own experiences. I really do. Um, and I hope that my experiences can help you um, with the, it, in situations in your life. Um, I'm not the guru. I'm not the answer to everything. But hopefully my progress through my struggles and having to deal with my ego can help you. Because an overactive one is damaging. It's damaging. It'll damage your, your, your self-esteem. It'll damage your self-image. It'll damage your relationships with others. It'll damage your, damage your progress in life. And you'll end up 20 years down the road wondering what happened why didn't I achieve this why didn't I achieve that it's because you had an overactive ego and you were living in fear and doubt and guilt 
and shame. That's not a way to live. It really is not. So, um, it's best to work with your ego. Then you can avoid things like pain body issues where your body has all of a sudden starts to react to certain situations around you. Um, so we've had no live viewers that I can see. Um, I've seen nothing, um, which is totally cool. Um, and uh, so, yeah, I think I'm going to end this here. Um, I hope this made sense to you. If you have any questions, please comment below. And please, you know, just, just let me know. I, I really want to help you through your life. I really want to help you on your path. Um, if my insights can do that, that's what I'm here for. I'm giving you tons of free content. And, um, and I really, I just, and I do that mainly because I really want to serve you guys. I really want to teach you through my own experiences what has worked for me and hopefully you can take that with you and you can use that in your life and hopefully they will work for you too um, so that is my intention that is my purpose here on this planet um, and we're never going to be perfect it doesn't exist but what we can do is we can take what we got. We can take what what God gave us, what we were born with, and help make it work for us. And, yeah, so that's that. So post a comment like this. Hit some likes. Hit some loves while you're watching. Um, you're all replayers, and replayers rock. So, um, yeah, so just still comment, like, love, hit that heart, hit that little thumbs up, and let me know what you think about this. So I look forward to um, seeing you in the group. And as always, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and walk in love and light and I promise you, things will change. They will. You just have to move through the fear and work with your ego. So have a good afternoon, good night, good evening, and I will chat with you soon. Bye-bye.